New information tonight on that deadly crash of a small plane last night in Baldwin County. It happened in the Mosley Road area near Stapleton. Both the pilot and his passenger died. We have team coverage right now. We begin with NBC 15's Colin Cahill. He was there tonight as investigators began piecing together what happened. Rough terrain, wet conditions, and on and off rain throughout the day has severely limited investigators from getting to the crash site. Everything bad condition that exists, that's what we had last night. Rain, mud, and tough terrain hampered recovery efforts last night and again today. We do know that the small plane, a Beechcraft Bonanza that can hold up to five people, took off from Jack Edwards Airport in Gulf Shores about 6.45 last night and was scheduled to fly to Muscle Shoals. It was last seen on radar around 7.01 p.m. flying through a strong storm that moved through our area. Go quite a few miles up to the wood and down all these dirt roads and to get there back to the uh, crash site. A Coast Guard helicopter spotted the burning plane and landed near first responders to guide them to the crash site and he landed in behind that and it just amazed me that it must have been the most experienced pilot there ever was because that was a tight LZ. It took first responders and investigators several hours on 4x4s and ATVs to reach the scene. When investigators got there, they found two people dead. One victim, 65-year-old Timothy Ray Rhodes of Florence, Alabama, was the owner of a company that managed rental properties in North Alabama. Published reports identify the second victim as Rhodes' wife, Doris. Both bodies were taken from the crash site around 1 a.m. The county coroner will conduct an autopsy tomorrow to confirm the identity of the second body using dental records. In a statement released this afternoon, the FAA says the NTSB will be taking the lead in this investigation. Reporting in Stapleton, Colin Cahill, NBC 15 News.